So Octavia Marie asks, um, do I ever talk to subbies personally via Skype? No, I don't. That's something that I probably could get into, you know, later. But when I, I see the whole thing with me, I just got to find the time to fit stuff in like that. And I really do think that's a cool idea to, you know, uh, probably do a Skype call or a Skype video call or whatever, you know, and do something like that. That's something that's probably going to happen in the future, though. So never say never. How do you feel about Tamika Campbell? How do you feel about VH1 delaying hit the floor until January? I was a little pissed off because I was looking forward to around Memorial Day weekend like everybody else was, you know, and I thought at least it was going to come out at the end or, you know, the fall of 2015, but now it's coming out early 2016 and I was a little bit over it. Like, I didn't damn near forgot what happened last season. It's been so damn long, but, you know, they got to do what they got to do with production and shit. So, hey, it is what it is. Um... Genia Govan, Govan, I hope this, I hope I'm saying your name right. She said, I wanted to ask a personal question. She had a conversation with her daughter and she just told me that she's a lesbian and she, I already knew because she told me before she told me and I, as well as her dad accepts her and she just turned 13 last month. So I'm trying to educate myself more on her protection. She, she is afraid to be open with her grandmother, though, and she wants to wait until she's 18 to tell her because she makes rude remarks and sly comments. And she does so my daughter gets in com uncomfortable with the remarks, and it would be better for us to sit down and talk. Would it be better for us to sit down and talk to my mom now, or would it be better to wait until she's 18? Um, And this goes on to say, because... You know, kids know, people know when they are sexually attracted to somebody else or when they are, you know, gay, straight, or they having feelings toward the same sex. They know at a young age, all right? And that goes to people who think that, oh, she's just 13. How does she really know? People know. I knew. I, I'm going to have to do my coming out story. I knew at a very, very young age that... Bitch, you ain't going to be with no guy, okay? You really not, you know, because I was very much more attracted to females. And this is, you know, my first crush in life was on a woman. And it never, I never had a crush on a guy. It was always women, all right? So the fact that she was able to tell you, first of all, I applaud you and your husband, the fact that y'all have open minds and open hearts and you already knew. Parents know, especially a mother will know what's going on with their child. They have that instinct. And like you said, you already knew. You kind of figured it out. Your husband, y'all okay with it, but you're trying to educate yourself. And you're not trying to, you know, make her feel bad for the way that she's feeling and all this stuff. And I applaud you on that because you're taking the right steps. Okay, you're not putting her down and saying, oh, you just this and how you know and ain't no dice going to be up in my house and all this stuff. No, you accepting it. For what it is because you already knew and you taking them steps to try to educate yourself on it as well and the rich in the role is your your mother who says a lot of homophobic stuff or whatever and that's probably because of the era she grew up in and i honestly feel like if it's gonna make if you know that's how your her grandmother is and if it's really going to make her feel a way and it also makes her feel uncomfortable and depending on the closeness of you guys and your relationship, I would say kind of wait till she turned 18 or whatever. But then again, it don't matter what the grandma thinks. Okay. As long as the parents is cool with it, as long as, you know, she got somebody to turn to, that's fine. You know, people are going to make their ignorant comments, but I don't know if I, I can't really say whether or not you should tell her now. But probably if you tell her now, because it can go anyway, if you tell her now, she probably will have something like, oh, uh, you know, how does she know when she this and who didn't did this and who did made her like this? And this is what I, I told you not to do this. And I told you not to do that. But then when she turned 18, like technically she was an adult and you can't really tell her shit. I don't know. You know, it's a toss up. But to, for me, I'll probably wait till she get older, you know, and 
get older and see if things possibly do change, you know, and if the shit is still the same thing. You know, could it possibly that she really is gay or is she bisexual? You know, you never really know. So I hope that helped. If anybody got some um, help, put it down in the comments. And please be respectful. Um, Elena A. asks, have I ever smoked weed? Do I currently smoke weed? And if I did, did I like it? And would you be, if I haven't, would I ever be willing to try it? Yeah, if you saw my video on the blackout, I smoked weed at the blackout. I smoke weed a couple of times before. It's not something that I do occasionally. Look, it's not something that I do regularly. It's not. I'm not. I'm not a weed head. I'm not a bitch that's gonna go out. I don't know nah weed man, drug person out here. I don't even feel comfortable enough going up to somebody and be like, give me this, give me that. I don't know the real terminology to this shit, so no. But if somebody that in my um surroundings that I'm cool with or whatever got something and you know. It's one of those days, hey, it is what it is, but it's not an everyday thing. It's not even a every other day or every other week. Like, I could tell you I smoke weed probably three times in my life. There you go. Um, how would you feel? This is from Jay Richardson. How would you feel if somebody wanted to stay at your house for a few weeks, but they've been here more than four months and is a grown adult with no respect and you ain't offering nothing you know what i said it's time to go if you're gonna come to my place and we have already established that you're only gonna be here for a little bit and you told me for a couple of weeks the couple of weeks is a couple of weeks all right especially if you family and i know the type of person you are and you're trying to fuck around and i see that you're trying to you know take advantage after those couple of weeks, you're going to have to go find somebody else to go lounge on because it ain't going to be me. And especially if you're not finna put in and you just lounging around, my house is not to lounge around yet. If I got to get my ass up to go to work and come back and do shit, you're going to do the same damn thing. You're not going to be in my house when I'm not here, okay? Fuck all that. Some of y'all be scared to tell people this shit and y'all get uh, warped into just, you know, saying, okay, you can stay a little bit longer. No. And especially if they're not contributing nothing, it's time for your ass to go. You don't want to go? I'm about to call the cops so they can take your ass up out of this bitch, okay? Don't afraid to go that, uh, that route. Don't be afraid to go that route. Um, I'm just scrolling up, y'all. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss something. Make sure y'all go check out Adam Christopher's book, A Tangled Web. It's on Google Plus and Amazon. Um, I, I really got to get into it. Keep on forgetting. It's because I don't be having no time. Y'all think that's all we do. Because I get my videos up like that. I get my videos up like that so that I can go on here and <laughs> do whatever else I got to do. Let me just, let me put this out. And I usually don't do this. I said, Miss Lisa Speaks, I'm not here for that comment that you put talking about um, one of my fellow YouTubers talking about some, her, um, you know, you talking about her looks and saying that uh, um, she's starting to get her popularity starting to go to her head and that's why I re uh, received more applause than she did. It is not no competition and I don't appreciate you saying no mess like that. Yes, I'm putting it out there because that's rude as fuck. And I said this in plenty of other videos. Do not come to me talking about shit of other people that I'm friends with. As if I'm going to be like, oh, girl, thank you. No, that's not a thank you. That's more like a fuck you. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't care how long you've been watching me. I don't care. But everybody that I went to the blackout with and everybody that I know on that panel, which is everybody, like I said, everybody the most humblest people on this fucking planet. Okay? Ain't nobody up here getting no damn big head. Maybe because you probably didn't have a falling out with that person or whatever. But don't bring it onto my channel and don't say no shit like that because I don't go for it. I could block you for that, but I'm going to just give you this warning because I'm not here for that bullshit. I'm, I'm really not. I, I keep on saying this shit. Y'all be saying that stuff like I'm going to fucking agree with you. Oh, you're going to give a backhanded compliment to me and then talk shit to somebody else about somebody else that I fucking know. 
No, I'm not here for that shit. That's why you received more applause than she did. No. Get the fuck. It ain't no damn competition. That's my motherfucking peer. That's my motherfucking friend. Don't do it. And I don't say that shit about a lot of people either. Moving on. Sheila Ingram, she wants to know, girl, you finna start a YouTube channel and you want to do sports and politics and entertainment from a black woman's point of view, how to get started. Turn your camera on, punch that record button, sit down and be like, hey, y'all, this is my YouTube channel and I want to talk about this. So in today's politics news, you know, yada, yada, yada. Now, in today's entertainment, okay, today's sports, you know, just go ahead and get a flow with it, you know. And I give y'all this. Sometimes people get nervous when they get in front of the camera. Try practicing, you know, and make sure, like, especially you say you want to do sports and politics and entertainment from a black woman's point of view, which I think is a good idea. And you can put it all in one, you know, um, video and you can be like, okay, today's politics segment is going to be talking about so-and-so and so-and-so. So, and so and just write down some of the stuff that your key points that you want to talk about. And before, you know, you actually start recording to get comfortable, do a dry run. You know, before you turn on your camera, just start, you know, try to talk it out to yourself about how you want to flow it out, you know, and then you get a flow that works for you. And then you can try, you know, once you turn the camera on and just start talking or whatever and play it back and see if you like it. And if you don't, just go record it again. And then you put up your best take, you know, until you get comfortable. That's how you should do it. Um, <sighs> Woo. I had to go off. I'm so sorry, y'all. That shit just pissed me off, y'all. Why y'all do this? Uh, Pisces Poop. Do you ever get burnt out from social media? Sometimes I do. Anybody who's been on social media on YouTube or, you know, if you've been following me, especially on Twitter and stuff, you'll notice that I don't be on Twitter a lot. I be mostly on that when it's some good shows on that we be tweeting, live tweeting through. And sometimes you just gotta take a step back. You really gotta take a step back. And it, you got to do it for your sanity or whatever. I don't really keep up with a lot of entertainment stuff like that. I do, but not as much as I used to. That's why when I do these videos, I be like, y'all, um, tell me the links and stuff because I don't go looking for it. I just want to hear y'all ideas of what y'all want me to talk about. But um, I'm going to just put this in a separate ass video. Fuck it. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking like. I ain't going to tag it on because it's kind of long. No, I'm going to put it in a separate video. Um, But, yeah, sometimes we do get burnt out on social media. And I know there's been times that I took, like, a month break off of Twitter and shit like that. Um, I barely on Facebook. If I'm on Facebook, it's just to share other shit that be on my timeline or to, you know, share my videos and ask y'all, you know, certain things and questions or whatever. But, like, Twitter and shit, yeah, you get burnt out, and I, you'll have to take a break. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, bagging away. You ain't gonna miss shit. Come back fresh, you know? It's just like when you, excuse me, you work a lot, and you gotta take a vacation to get your head right, you know? Get refreshed. Get a charge up. Kendra Wallace asks, will I ever do vlogs? I think I'm a boring-ass person. I really do. That's why it took me forever in a day to get a Periscope. Yes, if you don't know, I finally went on ahead and got a Periscope. Actually, today. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I don't even know when I'm going to start using it. But, it is what it is. I just feel like I'm not very interested outside this camera. Like, I just kind of boring. So, you know, once some shit really started popping off, I supposed to be helping my girlfriend move tomorrow into her apartment, depending on how her surgery and stuff goes today. Uh, so who knows? Maybe I do my first Periscope tomorrow. Maybe not. Don't hold me to it. You'll never know. You'll never know. But vlogging, like I said, I have to think about that. You know, maybe once some shit really started getting popping up in my life, I bitch, okay. You know, I don't want to be sitting on the camera and be like, Okay, y'all, it's 3.30, and I'm just sitting here chilling, and I'm watching this, okay? I'm finna go brush my teeth, and I'm finna go fix me something to eat, and all this stuff. It's 5 o'clock, and I'm just looking at this, and all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. I'm checking the mail. I don't want to do no boring-ass shit like that, you know? But, hey, I have to think about it. Um, 
Y'all like, bitch. Like, contrary to people, your beliefs, you know, just because you be on these YouTube channels and we be having so much personality and stuff, that's because we on the camera and we got to entertain y'all so y'all can keep coming back. And then once the camera go off, it's just like, you a normal ass motherfucker. Like, fuck this. I'm finna just chill out in my drawers and shit. Because that's basically what I... Girl, come on now. <laughs> um, what else? When y'all gonna do another blackout? And if so, would y'all do it in Miami? Uh, Deborah Smith. We are in talks right now of doing, trying to come up with um, a place or a thing or what we're going to do. We're trying to make it a yearly thing and we're trying to make it like for a weekend and not just a one day event or whatever so that everybody can have the time to come in and we're trying to push shit together at the moment. And who knows, it could be in Miami, it could be in New Orleans, it could be in LA, it could be in New York, you know, like I said, we're trying to make this a yearly thing, an annual thing and just go city from city or whatever, so... Or resorts or whatever the fuck. We just trying to come. We brainstorming some things. And I know we're supposed to have a, a conversation, a conference call this Sunday. So I will keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on. But yeah, we are doing the blackout again or trying to. Um. Hmm. K Nicole asks. I'm also an introvert. I'm curious, do you get a lot of shit for being introverted? Like, do random people ask you why are you so quiet or just to tell you to smile even though you're not frowning? And if so, does it get on your nerves? <sighs> I've always said I'm an introvert. I'm very much comfortable of being by myself. I don't really like being around a lot of people. But, you know, that's a comfort zone thing, and that's something that I'm trying to break out of. But the way that I'm set up, I can be somewhere, and I can be having a bomb-ass time, and you might not realize it because I'm not just being like, oh, yes, bitch, I'm everywhere. Da, da, da. I could just be standing there like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and be like, you could. I'm like, yeah, I'm having fun. I'm just not all over the place like that, you know? And yes, I do get those, why you why you not smiling? Girl, put a smile on your face. What you mad at? You mean? You over here mean mugging? I'm just sitting here like, mad at my business. I'm not frowning. I'm not mean mugging. I'm like, damn. Am I supposed to smile all the damn time? Like, I don't have to smile and shit like that, you know? And it irks me when people say that because, you know, they assume that, oh, you got an attitude. They assume you mean and they assume this and they assume that. And that's really not the case. I'm just chilling okay so yes that part of it it does get on my nerves and sometimes you know being introverted do it, it, it's a drawback because i do be wishing that i can just hang around a lot of more people and be comfortable in that way and just you know open up not necessarily open up but be open to just you know rock the fuck out sometimes and just break out but you know i just be so inside my own head that i just hinder myself from doing it so yeah, yeah, I hope that answers your question. I'm working on it though. Um, and I think that was the last question. So, like I said in the other review, in this one, the other video, this will be I'm gonna try to do two videos a month. So, I didn't do my two videos a month for the QAs, and um, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. And once again, if you have some questions save them save them for me and i will just put it on my instagram and my twitter the next time i'm gonna start up doing the questions and stuff and uh you know so just get y'all shit together and when i say some questions or whatever you can ask me any damn thing that you want to ask me okay it ain't got to be just about YouTube shit. It ain't got to be personal shit. It can be some funny shit or whatever that's anything that you want want to ask me and if you're cool with you know me answering on camera and other people hearing the answer or whatever and seeing the situation but um yeah did I do the one about the late hmm okay okay if I didn't I will get to it next time I have to go back and watch but yeah y'all enjoy y'all weekend y'all got two videos this week all right and um 
please be safe. And if you got homework and you in school, do that homework first before you get out here fucking around doing other shit. And then you get to Sunday night and you be like, God damn, I was supposed to write that damn paper. You know, come on. It's the beginning of the school year. We ain't got to fuck up. We can't fuck up too early. Okay. Give it a couple of months. And then we start slacking off a little bit. Nah, nah, nah. Let me stop giving y'all advice like that. Because y'all know how that is. Y'all know how it is. First few weeks of school, you be on it. Then all of a sudden, it gets towards me. You be like, God damn, bitch. Okay, I can, you know, this is only really 5% of my grade. And at this point, I already got like 85, 90%, you know. I mean, what's 5% going to do? I'm still had this age. Let me tell you something. Being in college especially, you be, and the teacher give y'all them syllabus, and they be breaking down everything and how many things that you can miss. And you be literally sitting there like, okay. So if I miss this, I still have this. And I got all this. Let me calculate this, okay? So my grade would be this. But if I miss this, it'll be that. Hmm. I'm going to have a C if I do that. A C minus. No, a C plus if I do that. And probably a B if I go on here. But then, you know, I'll probably be tired. You know, you college will fuck you up like that. It ain't about just really good. You be like, damn, I really don't feel like doing this. So you be calculating shit. But, um, <laughs> y'all know. Y'all know. But anyway, y'all have a good one. I'm for real for this time. I'm hungry as fuck. Let me go find some scavenger hunt up in this bitch. But um, I'll see y'all later. Peace.